time they were changed. File size filters decide whether to transfer a file based on their size. File name filters determine whether to transfer a file based on its name, using pattern matching. File type filters let you transfer a particular type of file, for instance documents, or choose not to transfer a particular file type. When you have chosen action rules and filters, click Next, and give your profile a name. To run an automated transfer profile, double-click on its name in the list. The overview window shows the files and folders that will be transferred based on the rules you created. Click Continue File Transfer to start the transfer process. After the process is complete, the log file shows details about each file and folder that was transferred. You can perform automated transfers by recording your actions. First, connect to the server using the file manager. Start recording by clicking the red button. We'll transfer these two files. To stop recording, click the green button. You can edit recordings. Just right click on the file, then, Edit Profile. We'll add some more files to be transferred. The new files are shown in this list along with the recorded actions. Now we'll create a schedule. Any automated transfer can be scheduled, including recorded transfers. Click on the Profile, then File, New Schedule. You can schedule for every day, only on certain days of the week, only on certain days each month, or once. We'll run this transfer one time daily. Once created, the scheduled transfer will run even if the application is minimized. You can export some, or all of the profiles in Auto FTP Manager, which lets you move them from one computer to another without having to re-enter all the settings. To export, click File, Export Profile. Select the type of setting, and then choose which to export. To import the saved settings into another copy of Auto FTP Manager, click File, Import Profile. All the settings will be imported, including schedules.
This completes the Auto FTP Manager tutorial. You can find more information about how to use the program at DeskShare.com in the Resources area.